If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. Today is Christmas, but I am not going to say Merry Christmas to you all <laughs> because Christmas is a pagan holiday. But let me say this. Another prayer has been answered. And the reason why I am telling you this, not to brag or to show you that God is answering my prayers, but I am telling you this so that it can increase your faith because I practice what I teach or preach, teach. So I am showing you what I am telling you all works. For the last, I don't know, week or five days, I forget. I was praying for some really small things, but something I really, really wanted. And I went somewhere. I thought that God was going to answer my prayer through someone else or through another way. And when I went somewhere, my prayer was answered through someone I did not expect. Because <laughs> it was really, really shocking. I had no idea that my prayer was going to be answered through that person. Amazing. As I have been stating, so my prayer has been answered today. So tomorrow, I can get what I have been wanting. And it is not anything major, but it is something I really, really wanted, <laughs> which I am so happy about. And actually, I received more than what I expected to actually get. So God answered my prayer and gave me more, <laughs> gave me more than what I asked for. Amazing. <laughs> As I have been stating, stay obedient to God. Keep your faith in God. And when you pray to him, believe that what you have prayed for has already happened. So you are believing that you have received what you have prayed for while you are praying for it. So even though you can't touch it or sense it or whatever, it doesn't matter. Faith is supernatural. So to get what you want, and I am not talking about anything with greed or anything like that, but when you are praying for something, you are believing that you have received it now, no matter how long it takes. For instance, there is something that I have prayed for back in 2015, I believe. And with my earthly senses, I can't detect, I guess you can say, what I have prayed for back in 2015 or 2016, I forget. But I am still believing that I have received what I have prayed for back then. Even though when I told another person about it, that person, some people were saying to me, I believe, more than one person was saying to me, Kevin, God is not going to answer that prayer. Do you believe I am listening to them? No way. I am still believing that I have received it even though I can't see it touch it, or anything else. That is faith. Don't let anyone discourage you 
from believing in God for what you are praying for. I am telling you. Because everyone doesn't have the same amount of faith in God. Some people have higher faith in God. Some people have lower faith in God. So why are you going to let a person who has no faith or lower faith in you tell you what God is going to do and what God is not going to do? Get out of here. Even if you have to believe on your own, even if everyone is against you in believing what you are praying for, so be it. Be alone and believe in God for what you are praying for. There are other things I have been praying for. And what I have been noticing, God is building up my faith. So I guess in the near future, I guess my faith have to be much higher than what it is now. So what I am saying, practice having faith in God now while times are not really that bad because times are going to get really, really bad. I am telling you. So it is best to practice your faith now while things are not really bad, while there isn't too much persecution on Christians now. Because one day you are going to have to use your faith in a very mighty way. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.